going to go back to uh, Texas and uh, pick up where we left off with uh, uh, with uh, Jane Kathleen. Uh, are you still with us there? Howdy, Thomas. Yes, I'm still with you. I think my, my internet was being quarantined there for a little bit. Uh, do, you, do you have antivirus on your computer? Well, I do have antivirus on my on my phone, which is where I'm logging on <laughs> okay. from right now. <laughs> anyway, you were telling us about the uh, the travel policy there. Yes, um, you know, as you mentioned earlier, uh, Governor Abbott declared that certain areas that are experiencing widespread COVID nineteen um, in you know those er in those areas, um, such as California, Louisiana, Washington, Atlanta, Chicago, Detroit, Miami, those have been officially declared on the mandate as places where if travelers are coming from those locations, they are required to have a fourteen day quarantine, and in fact. Um, I wanted to just let you know, I, I was talking literally a few minutes ago with a nurse friend of mine, Cecilia. She actually traveled all the way from Texas to California to help fight on the front line uh, battling against COVID-19 with her fellow healthcare professionals. And she was there for two weeks and she arrived safely back in Texas about maybe about an hour ago. And a, immediately upon landing, uh, she was told that she was going to have to be quarantined inside of her house for the next 14 days. So um, I guess there's not going to be any uh, late night coffee runs for us <laughs> when uh, uh, she's back in Texas. But, uh, you know, she'll we'll, we'll all be safe at home, uh, you know, to protect ourselves. Um, but on a positive note, the Texas governor also announced that a program to provide comfort food, care package, care package and meals to at-risk Texas youth and families is actually going to be in effect. This is going to be done in collaboration with local restaurants food deliver and food delivery service favor. And in fact, uh, through this comfort food care package program, customers of participating restaurants may purchase a care package with enough food to feed five to six people on behalf of youth and families in need of assistance. So it's a win-win situation for both communities and restaurants here in Texas. In Corpus Christi, I'm Jane Kathleen Gregorio, Eagle News. We live in interesting times. Jane Kathleen, I, I just want to back up to the travel policy a little bit there. Do they actually have uh, patrols at, uh, at the state line uh, stopping people as they come in? How, how do they track people that, that are coming back in? You know, that's that's a good question, Thomas. Um, I've only, it was, it was actually announced uh, this past Monday, but I'm, I'm not sure about the state lines. You know, I'm definitely uh, something that I'm going to follow up on and research. But, um, you know, I know for my friend, uh, as soon as she landed in the airport, she texted me right away and she actually issued, she, she texted me a picture of the letter they gave her and all this policy that they read to her. So, uh, for the most part, I'm aware of the airport. The, in terms of the air traveler, I'm not yet sure about the the Texas borders. Um, that's something that um, I need to find out for myself and get back to you. Um, as for you know quarantines and uh, border policies, how how is the situation over there in your neck of the woods in Canada? By and large, interprovincial travel is still allowed, except to the province of Quebec, and and that's where. About half the cases in Canada uh, have uh, have been detected, uh, but uh, our medical officer of health is saying, "Don't travel at all. There's no need to. Uh, just stay at home." Uh, they haven't closed the the provincial boundaries yet, uh, and probably at least out west won't. Uh, but again, travel is just not advised at all, unless you had a reason to. I see. Well, here in South Texas, we get a lot of winter Texans, mostly from Canada. We call them snowbirds. Exactly. So <laughs> this is the time of year where we usually get a lot of visitors from your 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 country, Thomas. But I guess uh, for now, they'll they'll have to wait for for next year next year, depending on how things go with this COVID nineteen situation. A lot of those snowbirds are returning home right now, and they do face a uh, fourteen day quarantine and they face big penalties uh, and and the sad thing is a lot of them don't take it seriously oh i i'm just going to pick up some groceries and then i'll quarantine well no it doesn't work that way and the sad thing is they're people my age they should know better they really they should know better <laughs> anyway thanks a lot kathleen we're going to go you. over to